guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina and this channel is all about beauty and that includes makeup, skincare, fragrances and uh, these days quite a lot of unboxings. So today we're going to unbox a very unexpected advent calendar, uh, quite a small one too. So this is Sephora Favorites After Calendar, seven day makeup advent calendar uh, that you should open from the 25th of uh, December from Christmas Day to the New Year's Eve. So this advent calendar was actually released in continental Europe and I did not expect to see it in the UK as well. Uh, mostly because uh, the continental European advent calendar uh, ended with uh, Christmas Eve, the day number 24, whereas our British version ended with day 25. So if you decide uh, to get both of these advent calendars, like the main one and the after advent one, and you decide to open them uh, like on a daily basis, uh, then you're going to have a double one me on the Christmas day. So that's pretty cool. So this advent calendar is priced at £65. The value inside will be over €150 Euros, apparently. Uh, so that's going to be like, I don't know how much, £140, something like that. And it says here, seven makeup surprises to wait until Christmas Eve. That's actually pretty cool, isn't it? So this is what the calendar looks like. Uh, you open the box like that and you have individual boxes over here. So without further ado, let's start the unboxing. So day number 25, Christmas Day. So here we have Rare Beauty Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in shade Enlighten and this is 13 mils. So that's a really nice start. Uh, it opens up with a full-size product and here's the shade. Let's just see how it blends. Yeah, this is a really nice, uh, very kind of a glowy highlighter. Okay, that was a good start. Day number 26. Okay, so here we have something very practical. This is a beauty blender and this is the original beauty blender uh, in this very kind of like bright pink shade. Uh, the original makeup sponge, yeah, that's what it says. And this is what it looks like. It is very soft and I do really like my beauty sponges to be that soft, so that's good. Okay, so this is our second product, day number 27. So here we have a mascara. So this is Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a mini size mascara, 4.8 grams. And I, I wouldn't say this is my favorite mascara, but it's definitely one of those I really like. So yeah, that's not bad. Uh, day number 28. And here we have some Charlotte Tilbury. So this is Color Chameleon in shade Bronzed Garnet. And this one is apparently great for green eyes. I am pretty sure I already have uh, this uh, shade somewhere. So this this is pretty much an eyeshadow pencil. You just apply it on your eye and kind of like smudge it with your finger or a brush. And I'm not going to swatch it because I already have uh, this shade somewhere in my stash, but this is a really pretty color. It does say that this is for green eyes, but I wouldn't really get too attached to this idea. Yes, if you have green eyes, it will make your the greenness of your eyes pop, but at the same time, you can use it with like any eye color and you'll be fine. Trust me, I tried before. And this is a full size item, which is good. Uh, day number 29, here we have some benefit, and this is Professional Pore Primer. And this is a 7.5 mils travel size mini. I'm not really sure how to describe it. Uh, probably so far the most disappointing size in this advent calendar because, you know, uh, the product is actually really good. I really rated this primer. Uh, just the size is not too impressive. I mean, I know this advent calendar is like only £65, so compared to like the other advent calendars, it is inexpensive but at the same time it only has seven products as well so i don't know i would maybe prefer something a little bit bigger or am i too picky again i don't know anyway day number 30 oh this one is actually surprisingly heavy oh we have an eyeshadow palette that's pretty cool okay so this is uh, sephora's own brand sephora color shifter eye palette okay that is quite interesting we very rarely get um, any kind of like sephora makeup in um the British version of Sephora Advent Calendar, right? So let's have a closer look at that. Okay, so there you go, these are the shades, and um, I've just discovered a cool thing. So we have a mirror here, and you can just push it, and you just take it out of the box if you want to. 
So let me just give you a closer look at uh, the shades that we have here. I really like that topper here. So I'm just going to swatch this for you. Okay, so that's actually really pretty. Look at that. Uh, so these are the four shades here. And here we have the topper. Uh, I really like this color story. And I really like the formula too. It's very soft. It's very kind of like pleasant on the skin. And it does seem quite nicely pigmented. So yeah, I like that. Uh, also, uh, I really love the fact that this uh, packaging is like fully recyclable. So you can remove the mirror or you can remove the patterns here here and it's all made of this kind of like a thick cardboard so that's 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 nice okay day number 31 our new year's eve and the last day of the seven calendar so here we have some fenty beauty and yes we have kind of like two items but in fact this is a lipstick and a case that just kind of work together so this is the case the lipstick comes in the shade uh, the mvp so there's that. And let's just have a proper look at these things. So this is our case. And then the lipstick comes like that. And we have like a proper lipstick. And let's have a look at the shade. Oh, this is actually really pretty. So I'm obviously going to swatch it. Oh, that's like a really nice red shade. You know what? I'm really glad we did not really have that many red lipsticks this year in Advent Calendar. So I don't really mind having like one here and there. Plus, this is a really lovely shade of red. So yeah, that's a really lovely ending of this Advent Calendar. Okay, yeah, so this is everything we got in this Sephora After Advent calendar or after calendar uh, for 2023 what do you guys think i do think this is a really cool idea i love the fact that we have like all makeup advent calendars so that's something a little bit different i really like this palette i did not expect to like it that much i thought the sephora on brand will be of a little bit like lower quality but the quality seems actually pretty good uh, i love the fact that we have beauty blender i also really like this rare beauty highlighter and the fenty lipstick these are my favorite products i mean a full-size charlotte tilbury eyeshadow shadow uh, pencil that's pretty cool too i really like this mascara the only product i was actually quite disappointed with is the size of this product here the product itself is lovely but the size is a little bit disappointing and i think if we had I don't know, twice as much, 15 mils maybe. I wouldn't have any complaints whatsoever. Uh, but since this is so small, I kind of feel like I need to complain at least a little bit, right? All right, guys, so this is everything for me today. Let me know what you think about Zadvan Calendar. Is it something that you might consider buying or do you think it's not that good? I would love to know your thoughts about that. Thank you very much for watching. For more Advent Calendar videos, check these ones over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care, bye.